reduce and eliminate the national debt? What can you expect to accomplish as a junior member in your first term? Please provide specifics on your debt reduction plan. And would you eliminate earmarks and pork barrel spending to bring down the debt? Well, first again, I would start with the Constitution and I would limit the role of federal government from things that they have no constitutional right to do. So I think you start with that. And with regard to earmarks, I would be against earmarks, and I don't believe it's in the Constitution. I would ban them. The, the problem is there's 435 members of Congress, and each one thinks there's special districts in their own district, and they each can justify it in any way. I do think the federal government has a constitutional role in interstate commerce and in infrastructure. So the thing with I-73 here, if it can stand alone as part of the national appropriation for infrastructure, I would fight very hard to have that included as part of an overall plan, but I would be against any earmark that is attached to other legislation. With regard to deficit reduction, I would reduce, again, I would eliminate the Department of Education, the U.S. Uh, Department of Energy, and you would also, I would have an immediate, you have to stop the, the madness first, I would have an immediate freeze on all government spending that's not defense related, our infrastructure related and I think you learn as a candidate and I give more credit it is a good idea to across the board reduction of five percent for five years I think that is a good idea and then you would again target and agree also on entitlement programs I know from once an entitlement program is in it's almost impossible to get rid of when I was on the Charleston County School Board the free and reduced lunch program is an excellent example of that there's something like 40 billion dollars a year spent on that all government aid to Poverty in schools is based on that. They don't require any documentation for that. So you can imagine, you just say, I make a certain amount, give me the money. And the schools don't want to know because they get more money and jobs and teachers based on that. So you basically, instead of feeding poor children, you're feeding the, feeding the children of, of parents who lie and cheat. And they have an incentive because they get federal grants for how many of those students they have in each school. And they measure how students in poverty are doing based on that. So it's the same thing with food stamps. Now you, you have a bank card to hide it. So entitlement programs have become enshrined in, in our culture. And nobody should expect another human being to feed their children if they can feed themselves. So I think you look at, you, you stop the welfare culture and the entitlement programs to reduce government spending, which Mark is an excellent idea. You freeze things immediately in terms of no increase in anything that's not related to national defense. And infrastructure, I think the federal government does have that responsibility. And I would be against any reduction in defense spending that would endanger our country. Thank you.